Among the relics of a life scientific, a memento more baffling to the layman than even his PhD thesis. Dark matter, a blackboard, packed with graffiti, the meaning dimmed by time. My illness has meant that I cannot use pencil and paper. But at a Cambridge conference 40 years ago, colleagues scrawled messages and cartoons in chalk. The best minds in the world are now being asked to decipher. Damped squid. So damped is the Department of Applied Mathematics and Theoretical Physics where Hawking works. That's a pun. Of course it is. Of there's, course a lot of, it is. there's a lot of quite bad puns. As a student, Harry Cliff knew Hawking at university and reckons this is a record of glorious failure. Hawking and his colleagues thought they were on the brink of finding something called a theory of everything, which is the holy grail of physics. It would have combined Einstein's theory of gravity with quantum mechanics. And it's this theory called supergravity, but people are still looking for a theory of everything. We haven't found it 40 years on, unfortunately. So, is it possible they just went away and drank some beer instead? I think they definitely drank some beer, but I don't think they gave up. I think they were, they were hard at work as well, I suspect. The blackboard is the centerpiece of a new exhibition at the Science Museum, keen to clear up some mysteries. Why is there an octopus behind a brick wall? What does double check your results mean? And who is this bearded figure with antennae on his head? I am Martin Rocek. A little brain power took us to New York and a man who once worked with Hawking on some very tough maths. Every time we got stuck or tired, we would go and doodle on the blackboard and then other people passing by would add things. So the picture of me as a Martian and there are all kinds of puns and in-jokes uh, scattered throughout. So why does he think Hawking treasured it for so long? He had a great sense of humour. <laughs> for such a serious thinker, he was fond of a joke and a stunt to make a point. Famously, he held the Time Travellers Party and sent the invitations out a day later. Nobody came. The exhibition which opened today will no doubt be better attended. John Ray, News at 10 at the Science Museum.